Pro Ronto. I am finally here in Canada getting ready for the Toronto Pro Show this coming Saturday. So guys, I had a big, big long flight. I didn't film much of it. In fact, I didn't film anything at all because I was just like, you know what? Let's just get there. It was just too much stuffing around. So to give you an idea, I had a big long hour flight from Sydney to LA, which which was about 14 hours. Um, and kind of slept over the plane, kind of didn't, tried to, but I was in an aisle seat next to other people. It's just awkward. So I didn't really sleep much on that, but then that's when the craziness started. So I had to get off that plane, go through LA airport. And if you know what LA airport is like, holy shit. Had to go through security, get my bag, check in my bag, check in for my next flight. I literally got onto my next flight with two minutes to spare. Like that's how quick and how busy it was. I was so stressed out, but we did it. We got there, thank God. So I flew into Minneapolis, was there just for another half an hour. So another quick trip onto the next flight, then from Minneapolis here to Toronto. So it was a long day of flying. I got a lot of sleep on the two shorter flights because that was in city time, night time. So I was wrecked by then. And then I got in here at Toronto at about 6 p.m. Finally at where I'm staying um, and just settled in and just wanted to have the night to myself just to regroup, kind of figure out how how I'm feeling, how I'm looking, because I was really nervous about flying and holding water. Um, ended up getting my groceries all sorted, because a little place, a uh, little grocery store, literally in a five minute walk from where I'm staying, which is perfect. Um, and yeah, so I thought I'm gonna start documenting from today. So today is Thursday here in Toronto. Um, it's approximately, I think it's 8 a.m. Yeah, so I've been waiting for the store to open because I forgot a few things yesterday. I guess I was pretty tired, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get down for a bit of a walk. Now, I just wanna give you a little tour of where I'm staying, my little apartment. So what I decided to do, and this time at this comp, there wasn't a meal service. So I'm just gonna close that. As you can see, I have a little kitchenette. So I'm gonna turn you around. So nice big fridge. I've got my own kitchenette so I can do my cooking. So I can say I bought a lot of groceries yesterday. Ignore the South. That's for that's for comp day. I promise. For comp day. Don't worry. Don't worry for comp day. <laughs> my little things here. Um, now, as you can see, my little living room, which is really quite cute. My bed. It's just a little studio apartment, but it's got so much space. And yes, I got Netflix on demand. Woohoo! It's gonna make the time in between a lot better. And my little bathroom in here. You don't need to see the bathroom. That's boring. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make sure that coming to Toronto, at least I was set and ready. Um, I can just, I feel like I'm at home, which is great. So I'm really, really relaxed here. I can make all my food. Um, one thing that sucks though is the pans here. Mm, I'm gonna have to go buy a new pan to cook with because I really tried to cook my fish last night and it's nothing worse trying to flip fish when half of it sticks to the bottom of the pan. <sighs> anyway, comp life, right? So <laughs> yeah, that's sorted out today. That's all good. Um, but the agenda for today really isn't much other than going to the shops now to see some extra food because I need to have some for my next meal. Coming back, um, regroup, trying to figure out where the closest gym is. Now there's a lot of studios here and boot camp places, which I don't want to do. I just want to find a gym just to go and like you know get my body pumping and moving. I've also got to do some cardio, which I am going to wait till a little bit later today. I'm not big on fast and cardio because it makes me feel like absolute rat shit, and then it really really stuffs up my energy levels for the rest of the day. So there is a beautiful beautiful park probably about 10 minutes from here and it's right along the water so I'm going to go for a walk down there soon and do my cardio up and down there that way I'll be more relaxed I'll actually want to do cardio because you all know I fucking hate doing cardio let's be real nothing worse than having to walk on a treadmill so you'll often see me on my Instagram walking outside if I can because obviously I live near the coast um, the beaches and manly and you know all up there is just so much more appealing and much more beneficial for my brain. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I've got to get it done so it will happen. Um, so yeah, eating, training, relaxing, and that's about it really. <laughs> Nothing else than that to report. Um, I did a bit of a check-in this morning with my coach Mark, so I sent him a video and we looked like we're all on track. So I mentioned before that I was really worried about the flight and like fluid retention and stuff like that. So what I did was make sure I had all my bottles of water. So I bought about five liters on the plane just to be safe had them all, I had my meals as well, so food fitness meals, I had all my customized meals which I brought with me on the plane which saved my life because obviously you can eat on the plane but getting off the plane you have to, can't take any food off, so obviously being in the country as well. Um, now that was really quite challenging with those two flights in between, so thankfully I did sleep, so my body clock wasn't too out, I was extremely starving by the time I got here though, so that was good to quickly race up to the shops and get my fish and asparagus and all that kind of stuff that I'm eating, so that wasn't too bad, but we're happy with where my body is at and i got to say I'm I'm extremely happy as well because I was a bit nervous, I was a bit more fluidy. Um, but I've woken up this morning after a good night's rest, um, plenty of water in, and all that kind of stuff too. And we are looking 
perfect well not perfect you know whatever <laughs> somewhat perfect what you can do be or look after a 14 hour flight and then another what six hours on planes and transits and running back and forth and whatever so thank god i nailed it um <laughs> but yeah that's about it guys so i'm gonna leave you there and carry on with my day i'll film as much as i can but i will keep you all up to date with my travel plans and what's been going on over the next couple of days so that way you can see how my pro show in toronto goes um and i'll speak a little bit later about olympia points and what i'm aiming for but other than that i need to go get some food Mwah. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm eating, but being Thursday means I am carving up today. I'm so excited. So it means I get to have carbs back in every meal like I always eat. At the start of the week, we did drop them and made my carbs quite significantly low just so I can lean up. And that also helps with like, you know, um, seeing my condition, flushing out all the water in my body because I did a bit of water loading. Um, so I'm really fucking excited. <laughs> I've just made some food and um, I'm gonna go and train. I found an F45 close by, so I'm gonna go do the moon hopper class there, which is a resistance class. So more um, waste-based kind of stuff there. Um, and so I wanted to wait to eat my carbs closer to this so that way when I train I just feel a bit better and also it'll feel my workout better. Now, what I've got over here, I'm going to turn you around. So I'm going to have 50 grams of rice. Now, this should be a chicken meal, but I've got some fish left over and I didn't want to waste it, so I'm going to eat that. I'm still having salt on all my meals. I'm going to add some asparagus as well. Now, I've got some sweet potato cooked for later on, which I'll put with the chicken. I'm going to bake it. So that's that guys, so I need to go and eat this real quick and then get on my way to F45. So yet again, so today is a show day and I'm so, so excited. So excited to the point where I literally could not sleep at all last night. Um, well, no, not at all, it's just like I woke up at 1.30 in the morning, wide awake, just ready to go and I'm like, oh cool, I still gotta wait another two hours before I really need to get up, which is still early because it's 3.30 in the morning now. So um, I'm up early getting everything ready i'm about to have my breakfast which i'll show you in a second um but i have to get my hair and makeup done um at 5 15 which means i need to get my tan before us so that's why i'm up so early but it's okay because of the time difference i think i'm just used to it anyway being up early um and we've got the whole day to rest anyway so i can catch up on sleep if i need to now um as you guys know if you've been following me for a while and watching these videos that i always put up on comp day i always have my hot cakes from mcdonald's and i live for this day i live for this moment Fucking, oh, it is the best. However, in Toronto, even though McDonald's is 24 hours, they don't start serving their breakfast until 4 a.m. I have to be at the venue to get my tent at 4 a.m. So I can't have my whole cakes. However, we have substituted it. I'm gonna be having waffles with some maple syrup as well. So we're good. We are good. We will survive and I would much rather have that than nothing at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so guys, I'm feeling really, really good. Obviously I'm on my own, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to film, but I'm gonna try and get as much as I can for you and share as much with you along the way. So thank you so much for everyone who is supporting me. I am really excited. My body's doing everything that we needed it to. So I don't know if you can really see too well in this lighting, but yeah, I'm happy, put it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat my waffles, but I'll come back to you guys soon at the venue. Canada unless you had some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Okay, hair and makeup is done. I absolutely love it and I've got my bikini on to show you. So by the time you see this video guys, you'll be able to see me completely wearing it, but let's have a look. It's by Fit Angel Bikini, like always. I love, love, love her work. Purple is definitely the color I will always from her I'm so excited so we have two hours now before I actually physically go on stage but in about 15 minutes so I'm gonna make my way back to the convention center I decided to come back and just chat here instead of sitting on the floor more relaxing back here and plus I wanted to do some videoing as well and checking with my coach properly so I'm only five minutes down the road so it's not a big deal but I'm gonna go soon so guys wish me luck hopefully I can get some footage and some pictures throughout the whole time so that way I can share them with you on my blog and of course on my Instagram catch up with you soon Hey guys, so I'm back from the pre-judging now and unfortunately there was no first call outs for me, which is okay. I mean, look, I'd be lying if I'd say that I wasn't just a little bit disappointed, but 
look, I mean, it is what it is. That show was huge. There were 25 amazing, amazing girls. So look, at the end of the day, I always have the same attitude going to any competition, whether it be my first, my last, whatever. And that is not to expect anything, do my absolute best and try and beat my condition and how I was last time, which I definitely feel like I did. I think we nailed this prep as well, just like I did in my arms, and that's all I wanted to do. I know how much effort I've put in. I know how much I've worked hard. So that's satisfying enough for me. Now, um, I'm off to actually I'm book my Uber now. I go back to the final, so I'm going to film a bit backstage as well. And then we'll see what the result is. Whatever happens, happens, but I'm happy regardless. So thanks for coming along, guys. Okay guys, so that's a wrap. The finals are done. I didn't get a place, so that's okay. I mean, look, I am a little bit deflated that I didn't do better than what I thought or hoped I would have, but at the end of the day, I can't expect anything. I can't kind of go into a competition thinking, I'm gonna win this because I never, never do. Whatever happens on the day, whatever girls turn up on the day, Obviously, there were just people who were better than me on the day, and that's fine. That's all good. However, I just need to knuckle down, put that aside. That one is done. I also have next week's show, which is the Sacramento Pro in California, so in Sacramento. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of a feed and then relax. I will do a bit of a debrief tomorrow as well when I wake up, so you guys can see how I go, how I'm feeling between comps as well. I can guarantee you, I'm gonna be in a world of pain. My body is aching so much already, um, and that's to be expected when you're low on calories um, you know holding poses kills like people really underestimate how much it actually is painful to hold poses so I just do bikini I can't imagine what the men from the bodybuilding and also the women in the figure and you know the physique and everything what they go through because it takes a toll on your body so um, yeah I'm gonna just have a bit of a deload day tomorrow I guess and I'll probably start training again Hopefully on Monday, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might just want to move tomorrow and get my body going. Um, but as of Monday evening, back into prep mode for that following weekend for the Sacramento Pro. So I'm not going to waste a minute. I have another opportunity. So I'm going to put everything on the line for that one before I come home. And hopefully my trip will be worth a little more than what it has been. <laughs> but in saying that guys, look, the, Sac uh, the Toronto Pro Show was amazing. I met so many good people as well. And it's really fun to kind of go to shows and meet people along the way because you make friends for life and we all keep in contact and hopefully I'll meet up with a lot of them at the other shows as well which will be awesome so you know every experience you live and you learn and I know what I think I need to work on for my next show and I can only get better from here so thanks to guys thank you for everyone who's been messaging me it means a lot and you know at the end of the day everyone keeps saying to me oh don't worry and why blah 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 but you know it's all good it's all good truly like I'm happy I'm happy with the condition that I brought I feel like I was better looking than what I was at Arnold's but you know at the end of the day there were just girls who were better than me on the day so it is what it is but I'm still good guys I'm happy I'm positive let's bring it for next week <laughs>